Hey guys, I'm Neil. Welcome to Pellets and Pits. Today we had a fantastic day cooking. We have some smoked crispy buffalo wings. I know you've heard all the stuff in the past. We tried a different method today to test it out and I'm telling you it's a home run. I hope you guys really enjoy this video because I'm absolutely over the moon about how the results came out. We have a crispy smoked buffalo wing. If you guys want to see how we make it, here we go. All right, to get started, let's talk about how we even got here. Smoked buffalo chicken wings, probably the most iconic, most popular item for the big game there is. Buffalo chicken in general, whether it's fried, smoked, baked, frozen, you name it. The reason why we started this channel was because of information like this. Now, on my other channel, Flat Top King, before we started Pellets and Pits, I've done my favorite way of doing buffalo wings, which is charcoal grilled. Um, smoke them for about an hour, uh, keep rotating them, and then you uh, toss them and then finish them off on open flame. I love that. We got into pellet grilling. Um, I do fall in the same category as I think most people of you run down the rabbit hole of like, you'll type in the title, how to make crispy wings on a pellet grill. Well, I've done the baking soda or the baking powder. I can't remember which one. And I do think it was better than, than raw or un without doing it. But I don't think it was the greatest. My pet peeve now is heat. Once you learn that lower temperatures allow for rubbery style chicken, you realize that keeping your grill or your pellet smoker at a lower temperature, regardless if there's baking soda or baking powder in it, is still not as great as what it can be. So today I've got a whole other theory. I'm calling it my theory. I haven't seen really anybody doing it. But I think it's the right theory, okay? We're going to eliminate that ingredient. Baking soda or baking powder, eliminate it completely. We're going to adjust our temperatures accordingly. The first thing we're going to do is smoke our wings at 225. I'm going to use our Traeger Ironwood XL in the super smoke feature, okay? Even my pit boss has a, a smoke feature. The point is, is I'm not going to season these at all right now. I'm going to allow just as much smoke as possible, and I'm going to start rendering out, warming up these wings to get a little bit warmer. No seasoning, no oils, no nothing. We have two different batches. I've got three batches of family style chicken wings and I've cut the tips off. You guys can see here, cause I'm gonna smoke these as well. Just ignore these, but I'm smoking these because I'll smoke them from the hour. I'll take them off, let them cool down, save them for stock. Once they hit about an hour, hour and 15, hour and 20, we'll start checking them. Then what I'm gonna do is keep them separate. I'm going to spray half of them with duck fat, half of them with olive oil. I mean, uh, with uh, avocado oil. And then I'm gonna season half the batch with my Q that, half the batch with, uh, Shake that. Half's going to be buffalo, half's going to be barbecue. The point is, we're going to raise that temperature up to 400 degrees. I'm going to take them off the smoker while that temperature is climbing so we don't technically overcook the chicken that much. And then once our temperature hits 400, I'm throwing back on there. The idea is that oil is going to help fry the chicken. I think that's how you get the crispy chicken that we all crave. When you think about temperatures of chicken wings, you would never deep fry chicken wing at 225 or 250, right? Typically your oil is about 350 to 375, okay? The chicken itself has a ton of fat on it already. So it's how you render the fat and how you get the skin crispy is how you get a crispy chicken wing. You're never gonna achieve that at 250 or 225. No salt brine on this at all because I'm gonna season them later. You'll be amazed how much moisture, how much blood is excreted from these. They've been in the refrigerator overnight on a cooling rack and let all that moisture come out of it. So that way when they get on the smoker, they're a little bit drier, okay? That's what we're looking at. The smoker's up to temp. Let's go see what we got. All right, about an hour and 20 minutes later, this is what we're left with. As you can see that the skin's starting to pop. Um, looking really good. The colors changed, quite a bit of smoke on there. Smells good. And so this is the idea. Just kind of look like half and half. So let's just split it right, uh, right there, okay? So, wings will go in a bowl. And this side's gonna have duck fat on it. So let me get some of this sprayed just for even coverage. Let's get these in there. All right. So now the idea is now we're gonna start frying the wing. Our pellet smoker is off that smoke mode. 
I've turned it up to 400 degrees. It doesn't take long to get there. Now we're just gonna coat it some more oil. And let's use Shake That, which is salt, pepper, garlic, and butter. Just a good all-purpose seasoning. Now we're just gonna come back in here, skin sawed up just the way it was. Second batch is in. Lightly toss just a little bit of avocado oil. Same idea, just trying to coat it with a little bit more oil. Just make sure everything's, you know, tacky, moist, and coated in oil. Then we're going through a barbecue theme, so I'm going to use Q that as my seasoning. Back on the cooling rack, these will go. Same idea. While I'm seasoning these up, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna top these off with cue that, top this off with uh, shake that. While I'm doing that, I'm talking about the temperature we're gonna start reaching. Typically with chicken, obviously about 165 is your target goal. But with wings, a lot of times, you can go a little bit hotter. Some people say up to 200 degrees. So anywhere really between 180 and 200 degrees. I know it's a large, number to look at but wings can handle it without drying out and what happens is that the uh the meat kind of breaks down on it and makes it a little bit more tender so don't start probing these at 165 and think that they're done dead minimum 180 let's carry up in the middle of like a maybe like 192 to 195 somewhere through there this does a couple things it allows it to stay on the grill for longer which aids in the frying process and it allows more smoke penetration, more sauce stickage. A lot more things happen if you can keep your meat on the grill longer. Smoker's up to 400. We'll check back in a few minutes. All right, our wings are cooking away nicely. I'm just gonna throw some uh, KC Masterpiece Original Barbecue Sauce in there. I like balance. So this has got sweet and smoky, but the one thing it doesn't have is vinegar. So I'm gonna add just enough in there to be able to toss some of those wings with that Q that. About how much would you say that is? About half a cup, maybe a little bit more. Uh, but I am gonna cut it with some vinegar because it is pretty sweet, especially for wings. I'm not a big fan of like overly sweet wings. That chipotle pepper is gonna add the heat and that smokiness that balances really well. It's a fantastic combination. You can use a lot of different things. Just let this go, kind of reduce down. All right, while that's reducing, let me show you what we're doing over here. On my other channel, The Flat Top King, we did a smoked chicken um, buffalo taco. So we smoked the chicken, we shredded the meat, and then we add like a buffalo sauce, cream, smoked cream cheese, all that stuff. Made fantastic style tacos uh, for the big game coming up. So if you guys want to check out that video, there you go. This worked out. Um, about 45 minutes. And during that 45 minutes, like the last 20 minutes, I even went up to 425, okay? I am extremely happy with the results. Not because it proves my point, because I feel like we've created a better wing. And no matter how we get there, this is legit. To me, this is a fried style wing. This is a crispy wing. Um, I mean, it, it almost... If you didn't tell me it wasn't deep fried, I probably wouldn't know. Let's see if you can hear this. <laughs> can you hear it? Yeah, I think so. All right. <laughs> I had to zoom in a little. You might not like that camera angle. <laughs> uh, I've seen worse. Um, they both cook equally. Um, I wasn't worried about my cue that burning with that high temperature. A lot of times sugar and like barbecue seasoning and stuff. But just, I don't even know if. That is a crispy wing. Yes, this is so much better than that dang soda. We, we took them up to about 200 degrees. Mm. I mean, they just taste fried. We haven't even sauced them yet, and they're great. They're great like that. They don't even need sauce. <laughs> <laughs> With that being said, I know there's a thousand different ways to do these. It'd be interesting if somebody would challenge this idea and make them and see the results. Because if you're talking about a legit crispy chicken wing, this is how th this is this is the best result I've ever had. Now, how you sauce them is completely up to you. Okay, 
Um, once you sauce them, I think we all can agree, you've only got so much time before they start absorbing the sauce and you lose the crispiness. For the sauce, we got our barbecue with the, with the uh, chipotle, a little vinegar in there. That's gonna go a long ways. And then Frank's red hot wing buffalo style. Remember earlier I mentioned about those little tips? We actually had some uh, rotisserie chicken pieces. So there's that stocking I'm making. Obviously your carrots, your celery, your bay leaves, your peppercorns, smoke those tips, add the uh, carcass from those rotisserie chickens. We'll boil this for a few hours and take the lid off and reduce it. And there's the chicken stock that I need. All right, the crispy, I think we can hear it. Very yeah, crispy. Crispy wings. Let's give those a quick toss. Sound crispy. I'm gonna keep that uh, buffalo sauce in there just because when you're talking about wings, I don't know if you cannot. Buffalo sauce reigns supreme. This is that Q that, and then this is that barbecue sauce with the uh, chipotle pepper in there that's been warmed up. Oh, yeah. Nice coverage. Got that spicy in there too. We have our tossed buffalo and we have our barbecue sauce over there. You know, honestly, whether or not you want to do the garlic, Parmesan, uh, habanero and mango, whatever flavor. My goal today was to try to create a crispy wing. Now, one thing I can say, I let my wings cool down on the smoker during the cool down mode. It might've shot up a little bit higher to aid in the drying out. Maybe target about 195-ish on the wings and then take them off. I think taking them off a little bit earlier would have aided in a little bit moist wing. But the whole key today was to get a crispy wing with no BS. And we nailed it. So the crispy part is there. I'm excited. I'm over the moon. I can adjust the time frame. Whatever sauce you want to use, we got blue cheese. Even, mm. even after they were sauce, they're still crispy. Mm. This, I mean, they taste smoked and fried. Barbecue has a little bit of heat. Does it? With the chipotle pepper, but it's good. Mmm, that's good. Mmm. Oh, that's good. I don't know. I mean, yeah, it's got a little bit of heat, but you're talking about a wing. Mmm. Mmm. Really, there's nothing else to say. I mean, we didn't make the sauces, the sauces speak for themselves, and it just comes to execution. The execution was spot on. Smoking at 225 to get as much flavor as possible. Taking them off while the grill uh, got up to temperature, that 400 mark, tossing them in some oil, and then letting them fry naturally. I don't think there's another way I'd ever do them again. Correct. They're, they're perfect. If you want crispy smoked chicken wings, there you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, show with your friends. Peace. I mean, it even looks fried. <laughs>